So if you're watching this, I take it you've been reading the blog and you've come to the bit where myself and my foot are having a meeting. So if you want to just uh, take, a, take a seat there and you can, uh, you can um, ask questions after we've had our discussion. Right foot, what's the crack? Well, you've been running a little bit more than usual. This is my foot speaking. You've been running a little bit more than usual and I'm just feeling a little bit sore in around the ball area. Um, I'd just like you to kind of check in and see what the story is. All right, so yeah, I agree. I have been running a bit more, um, and I but I feel like it's not an exact, it's not hugely more. So and I'm not getting any other symptoms. So I'm going to maybe ask you, do you feel like you're moving well enough for this slight increase in training load? And the foot says, well, you see these rubber things that you have between my toes. That's probably a sign that. Yeah, I'm maybe not the most functional foot in the world, so uh, please help me to move better and then maybe I'll be happier to help you with your increased running for your Ironman training. Yeah, definitely. So uh, what can we do just to come out of the meeting? If anyone's a bit lost by now, I could understand, but this is the bit where I'm just going to talk about what was that meeting about and you know what can we do? to help this foot be, be happier. Um, this guy has, uh, you might see a slight bunion um, forming, right? And you know, that can be managed by monitoring the big toe and making sure that the big toe is bending back as well as it can, okay? So we're gonna show you that from a different angle uh, in a second, but um, just keeping that big toe functional and, and mobile. The other thing to look at is being a bit the ability to spread your toes okay this would you believe it took me until last year i'm 38 i never bothered it's not something i paid attention to but now the research is really quite strong in terms of what we should be doing to keep our foot healthy and one of the things is to be able to spread your toes wide like that this is why i got hold of these i'll show you a bit closer it's gone to ruin now, but I must get some more. But they're just toe spreaders, and they go in between the toes. They just like create that that gap, and that we can move with that more functional foot. Okay. Um, things you can do to keep your foot healthy. Uh, I would say, get hold of it. Get your fingers in between the toes to get that spread. The reason, just to break out there, the reason why we do the spread is because there's now research showing that if you've got a better spread between the toes, you actually get a better push off and propulsion in your running gait, okay? So it's a winner. Um, so I get your fingers in your toe, in between the toes, and then just moving in a circular motion, the ball, the, the top of the foot area, the forefoot, and then, and then reverse that. So just getting lots of nice movement into the joints, okay? Okay. And the other thing to look at is uh, can we control the, the, the big toe and the small toes, okay? I'm gonna grab the camera to show you what I'm talking about. So here's my foot. Can I keep the big toe down and lift the other toes? And then can I put the other toes down and lift the big toe? Quite challenging, worth looking into. And the, actually, I just read this morning what we can do with the, not to neglect the small toe. So the small toe, if you want to wrap a red band around it or some sort of a third band, And then you can pull it up and then you push down to the mat with the small toe, but try to keep all your other toes on the mat. So we're just trying to uh, strengthen up that fifth um, uh, muscle of the fifth toe. And that can actually help to keep a nice balance across the foot when we're running so that we're not only over this, the big toe, if you get me. Okay. And then the last thing I was saying when I mentioned earlier, make sure we keep this joint mobile. So how do I do that? 
it, I would get this joint extending and that is why you would wear these uh, spreaders because if I have a spread a, a, a gap here now the extension looks a lot nicer okay so when I'm walking around this will obviously be the other side I'm getting a nicer sort of alignment into the big toe right hope that all makes sense to you uh, I'm gonna make another video on why we why I why 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 we should be probably wearing more um, minimal shoes and that allow us our foot to be functional um, and in contact more with the floor but I'll also mention something really interesting around trainers and why you shouldn't be chucking your trainers in the bin when you might be doing that to buy another pair stay stay tuned keep keep reading the blog and I hope you're enjoying it ciao